Okay, so there there is a command, um, the uh, the covered cell command, and let me just pull up a drawing that has an actual background in it. So um, certain areas um, can utilize a covered cell tool. Um, for example. Now this covered cell tool is not going to be useful for any sort of sealing system. If you've got a sealing system, this covered tool is probably not going to be useful at all. But if you've got an exposed area, whether that's you know a uh, mechanical um, you know back of house area that's that's open and exposed, or you know a storage room, or you know a, a warehouse, um, you could potentially use the covered cell tool. And, and we've got two. We've got a, a, a regular cover cell, which is which is truly square, rectangular, square to the view, and then we've got a, th a three-point cover cell, which I believe allows you to draw um, the cover cell at a at a at an angle. Um, so, you know, for this project, where this portion of the building is at an angle, this three-point cover cell, uh, I believe, will allow me to draw this in at an angle rather than um, rather than having a square you know square to plan view I don't know why I can't grab that that's really bugging me I'll just go there instead so it allowed me to, to lay this out very quickly you know at at an angle here versus the um, standard coverage cell tool that is that is truly it's 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 two point you pick two points and draw this you know rectangular shape that is square to the uh, drawing orientation the plan view orientation and then within the properties of each of these whether you utilize the three point to draw it at an angle or the the standard covered cell tool um, both contain properties where you can specify spacing values. Um, if you want to utilize a fixed spacing or a variable spacing using max um, area of coverage per head and then um, variance from a, from a square grid um, layout. Um, and then obviously you can specify, you know, if you're using extended coverage heads you know, you can specify maximums and minimums, um, based on the type of sprinkler that you want to utilize, and then tell the program which direction to run the pipe. Um, so I have started using this tool um, more frequently than I than I traditionally have in the past um, for you know open areas like parking garages and um, you know some warehouse, you know large storage rooms, mechanical areas. Um, you know, it can help generate a quick layout, but then, you know, you might still need to fine-tune a few things. You got it. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that can be a very powerful tool.